Hello everybody, my name is Sniper Response, and I welcome you all back to character number 109 in this long running series of various newcomer character ideas for the upcoming Super Smash Bros. game, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is the road to 150. We are in character number 109, and as I mentioned in the last video with Deathborn from the F-Zero franchise, this video is going to be about Kamek from the Mario slash Yoshi franchise. So, without further ado, without this intro getting on super long, I want to talk about this character, another Mario character in my list, and get to the three same categories as always. Mo um, reasons for why he makes sense to get in, moves to ideas, and percentage chance I can see him actually getting in. Now, why represent Kamek? Like, why why should that be the next, you know, Mario slash Yoshi rep? Let me consider it's mostly a Yoshi rep almost at this point. Well, first off, Yoshi really does kind of deserve a secondary character. He really does. And a lot of people would probably say Boshi, even though that's the most stupidest thing I think ever. It's basically like as an Echo Fighter, you can make that a costume, an alternate character, like an Elf Olimar type of thing. And it's really pointless to make that its own character. As interesting of a character as he is, which really isn't, I would rather not go that route because that sounds really cheap and like cheap and out just to get a character from Yoshi without making this an uh, interesting character. And um, I'd say another Mario character, be another Mario character, because he's he's been in major villains in pretty much every Mario game since the NES, the Mario RPG games, the main 3D and 2D platformers and stuff. We've seen him around really much since the 80s, so he is basically one of Bowser's right hand minions, and I'd like to kind of see you know him get in like, with that. Like he just seems like he'd be a cool character. But yes, he is a major villain to not only, a major character and a major villain not only to Mario, but to Yoshi. Not only to Yoshi, but to Mario. He is a major character to two different franchises in the same universe, yes. But he's paired in both. Mario, you know, Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, and you know, all the other Yoshi games post that. And then Mario games, as I just mentioned, he is a major villain to Yoshi. He's a semi-major villain to Mario. He's been around for a very long time. He's super iconic, super, you know, he's pretty popular, and they've included him in spin-off games, too. I think they've included him in at least one Mario Kart and probably one of the Mario Sports games. I think they've been referenced, at least. Mario Party, I'm sure at least one of them has had a freaking, you know, can't make this play board, like a Magic Koopa, at least, Magic Koopa, you know. It's been around a long time, iconic, and he appears in spinoffs and cameos and stuff. I think they could get away with having him in the game, and I feel he is majorly deserving. So, Moose ideas, that's all I really have for him to be in the game. Iconic character, long history, villain to Yoshi, villain to Mario. Popular character from both the Mario and Yoshi franchise. He deserves to get in. Moose ideas. Now, I had to do a little bit of research. I mean, I've played Mario games since I've been young and Yoshi games and whatnot. And I kind of had a Moose in my mind before him. But I had to do a little bit of research to kind of see what he's fully capable of because I'm not super fully familiar with the character. So basically, in my opinion, he, is, he, he'll be a little mini character. You think Toad from like Mario World, you know, Super Mario Bros. 2. Like, the, the slightly smaller character that's a little bit slow, but not super slow. He's not the fastest character. He just has more, like, ground and, like, grip to him kind of thing. I think someone like that, where he walks around and he's a maneuverable character like that, but he can float like Yoshi using his broom, because more often than not, you see him in the games riding a broom. So, he'll be able to be, you'll be able to do a standard jump, but if you do two jumps, you, he just pulls out his broom, and then you can start the beating, you know, like, like, Kirby, how you can keep pressing up... He gets out of his room. That's how he maneuvers around. That's how I represent the broom. It's basically a Kirby maneuver, but he's standardly on his feet. He's just not a super fast character, but he's not really... He has grip to the ground. like He's not sliding all over the place like super fast, but he's not a super slow kind of character. So there you go. But his smash attacks, he basically uses a magic wand because he's a magic Koopa. He's the leader of the magic Koopas, basically. And he uses a broom. So he basically, his smash attacks are pulling out his wand and just smacking his opponents with him. Or pulling off the broom and starting smacking and swiping his opponents with him. Maybe he could trip his opponents with a broom. Smack him on the head, take out his wand. Bam, bam, boom, boom, boom. Like, like he does magic, but he kind of has to defend himself. So if the opponent gets too close, he just decides to resort to physical attack and bam, smack him. Yeah, there's, if you have to know what his magic wand looks like, there you go. So yeah, that's what his smash attacks are like. It's basically like that. And you can basically charge up and do like a magical type wand strike. So it's like, you're like, mm -hmm. 
bam, and that little magical glare glows, and it's glowing, and you smack it, and it's more damage. Um, his special attacks are where the magic wand comes into his magic spells. They're chargeable, and you can just shoot him, and so it's a distance attack. He has a range attack where he's like, boo, and then you can charge back like, bam, and then the spell. If you do it normally, like his spells usually have like a look of like these circles, squares, and triangle type things mixed together. If you do it normally, it's just a little ball like, if you charge it up medium-wise, it's basically like that, but a little bit bigger. But if you charge it fully, it goes into three things. It has like a triangle, a square, and an O, or whatever the direction is. So it basically, it's like a try shot. If you charge it up fully, it's a try shot magic spell. But if it's medium range, it's just a bigger ball, and the standard one's just a little... There you go. He can also, let me make sure here. You can also control a magic spell. So he's going to have a magic spell that's kind of like Ness's PK Thunder. PK Thunder! And he's like this. And it's like. Bam! Maybe you could use it like PK Thunder, how you would see Ness. You could use that to save Ness from falling off the stage. So you could use the magic one to help you before you fall off the stage. If you can't, if your character's immobile enough, but chances are you're going to be floating like your broom. So it's not like Ness, but you could probably use it as a backup choice in case it's an area you can't really use your broom at. Maybe as a last ditch effort save. And then I would say he should be able to summon like opponents, like summon like a Goomba or a Koopa Troopa, a Dry Bones, a Paratroopa. So he's like, and it just sends a little Goomba forward or a Paratroopa, like a shield. They could be used as a shield. They could be used as an extra way of having your opponent deal with them while you're walking away, getting away from the stage, fleeing kind of thing, getting some distance. So, or using them to attack, like, a Goomba would just be standing like, walk, 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 and just do his little, like, and runs into his opponents. Koopa Troopa probably would do, like, and then try to jump on his opponents. Dry Bones probably won't die right away, so if you break it down, they'll probably just get right back up and chase after the opponent for at least five seconds or so. And then Paratroopa's just, like, and then come down on his opponent. So there you go. So basically, his smash attacks should basically be smacking the opponents with his wand, which could be charged, or his broom. He can float like Kirby using the using his broom, and he's walking around normally, kind of like a toad from Mario Bros. Two. And his special attacks are charging his magic wand, shooting magic wand spells, shooting the magic wand spell that's controllable, like Ness's PK Thunder, and summoning little you know Bowser minions to kind of attack opponents. His final smash. Um, has to be, and I wanted to represent this because it's a major thing he's kind of almost known for. He's to enlarge his opponents, making these giant threats like in Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo, Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. You, he, there's always like, he takes like a little mini monster and just makes him big. He'll summon a Goomba or some sort, like a, some sort of basic enemy from that game, or maybe Baby Bowser. He could he, he either can summon Baby Bowser and enlarge Baby Bowser to be like the final boss battle of Yoshi's Island. Or he just summons like a Goomba or some sort of paratroopa or one of the villains that you face as a boss battle in um, Yoshi's Island or maybe that giant lava monster from Yoshi's Island or something like that and they just attack the opponent. They attack the stage, they just storm the stage and start stomping and attacking the opponents and, you know, and there's like almost no room to get away and the, opponent, and the opponents are like and they start flying off the stage. That's the final smash. Now in terms of a Percentage chance, let's get onto that because that's basically the moveset. Magic spell, controllable magic spell, summoning the opponents, smacking opponents with wand, enlarging things, final smash. I think that's pretty self explanatory. Final um, final category, let's go with the percentage chance I see him actually get in. It's not great, but it's not weak either, but it's more weak than great because I'm going to say about maybe 15 to 20%. I'd probably just stick at 15. Because I don't really see, first off, I don't really see another Mario character, at least until maybe DLC. And I don't see, unless they do Gino, but Gino doesn't necessarily count as a Mario character, because he counts more as a Square Enix third-party character, so there's that. Um, and I don't really see Yoshi getting in their character, but I would love to see Yoshi get in their character. It's been Yoshi by himself this entire time. Yoshi needs another character. Cat, um, F-Zero needs another character. A lot of character franchises need more characters. But um, yes, I'm going to say about 15% because it's still possible, especially now that Yoshi's getting his new Yoshi game on the Switch. And this character's been around a long time, and I think this I think Kamek is in this new Yoshi game. And they might want to advertise, you know, 
representing this character in that like a big it could be a little marketing employee kind of thing like even if he's dlc but i say about 15 percent. he's if he hasn't been in yet they probably won't include him probably at all even though i think he really truly deserves to be one of the new villain characters especially because they're pushing villains um i would say about 15 to 20 percent in fact let's just bump it up to 20 20 percent um because i think it's possible it's very there but it's like there's so many other mario characters you pick he's only would be able to get in if they really push him as a yoshi representative more so which he really is he really is more so feeling he's more important to the yoshi franchise than the mario franchise so if they push him in as a yoshi character i see it's possible if they push him in as a mario character that's probably not as likely because at that point you have captain toad you have um paper mario and you know stuff like that so you have characters that probably deserve it more than him but yeah i'd say about 20 20 percent and that's it for Kamek from Yoshi Mario. Woo! And let me just move that here. That's it for um, Kamek. Put in the comments if you guys think you guys want to see Kamek in Smash Bros. You guys think my moveset makes sense? Would would you change 15, 20 percent too high, too low? Yeah, it's 20 percent too high, too low. Discuss it down there. Have fun. My, you know, would you like to see him? Because I was like. It's a character I see mentioned, but I don't see him mentioned a lot. But I do think he's deserving, but I don't think he's the most deserving Mario character. But if they put him in as a Yoshi character, it might work. It all depends on, I don't know. But I'd say about 20%. So that's about it. We put it down there, we discuss it, have fun, and we're on the road to 150. And I'm done with character number 109. And then when I come back for 110, and I'll be 40 away from being done. I'm going to be talking about another character that the leaks have kind of, especially when they did the codename ones, kind of brought him up. He would complete the trio of characters for his franchise. Um, people kind of want him just for that, even though he wouldn't probably be that original and unique. But there's ways they can make him original and unique. And he might be deserving, given that the game now is localized, because they localized the game he's from now on the Wii U in the, in the virtual console eShop thing. And that's going to be Ninten from the Mother Slash Earthbound franchise. And I'll see you all later in the next video. Sniping is fun. Signing out. Have a nice day. Peace. Please subscribe if you want to. And see you all later. Bye.